it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And you know that old saying that when life gives you lemons, you dig a drain line? I, I don't know if there's a saying like that, but there should be because however many drain lines you have, you could probably use one more and things aren't always going to go according to plan. So we're gonna dig a line extending this drain line right behind me down the hill, connect it to the drain line we have up the hill and see if we can get water to shed off from around this building. I'd rather be standing up arches on the Quonset hut, but there's just as much work to be done around the building as there is to be done actually standing the building up. So I'm gonna go get the backhoe on the tractor, get the bucket on the tractor, and get to work on this. The pile I just pushed out of the way was just leftover debris and fill from when we originally dug this. Right back here we have one drain line running at a steeper angle and then we've got this drain line right next to the building. Those will naturally intersect with each other about 50 feet past the corner of the building and then I'm going to just continue running it down till I run out of pipe but eventually I want to run this all the way down to the back corner where I'm putting in a second pond. But probably at least a year away from doing that other pond. So the next step is to start digging where this pipe is rolled back out of the trench. Actually before I start digging I need to get this fence post out of the way and even though the tractor's right there I don't have any chain down here and for one post it's just as easy to pull it with the post driver. If you haven't seen this trick it's pretty cool to just lean this up against one of the notches, pull back, just keep dropping it down the notches and working it out. Not too bad, really. I thought before I finish digging this out, I'm going to go ahead and do the worst part because the part I'm kind of dreading is getting this into the pipe laid in. The problem here is I had a drain line that I put in before with fabric and rock around it and it wasn't quite deep enough on this end so I had to push it back and dig it out a little bit more. And now as I've lifted this pipe up, rock is under the pipe and it's going to be hard to dig that rock out and get the pipe back down into the bottom of the trench and get this fabric stretched out. And since I don't want to do it, I'm going to do it first. Never be too good to run a shovel.
the digging is going pretty well in this line but at some point I need to intersect it with this line up here I'm realizing if I put all my dirt on this side and then tr come down and try to intersect it I'm gonna have to cross that and cross the trench I've just made so I think I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one down to where it's going to intersect clear the dirt off around it and then bring this one down probably the same either way but makes sense in my head I tell you my aggravation this morning on the fact we weren't gonna finish this building lasted for about an hour and then I remembered how blessed I am and how grateful I should feel because if it takes a week or two months to put this Quonset hut up doesn't really matter I had people who were supposed to be here to help me and they had real-life problems come up and one of them is at a funeral so it's a reminder for me to be grateful that I don't have a bigger problem than a delay in the Quonset hut build I don't know about you but me personally I find it easy to get so caught up in what I'm doing and lose perspective on the fact that a lot of people have bigger problems now if you look right here you'll see that I've got one tire in the previous trench I started that other trench a couple foot deep and tapered it down almost to nothing so now I'm trying to connect the two trenches without straddling the other trench and driving it all the way down when it's a hundred foot trench with a dirt pile next to it it was a little bit awkward but I was able to do it Heck, if I was a little bit smarter, I'm only I don't know, six feet from the end of this where I joined the two trenches. If I was a little bit smarter, I could have drug it out and made my union right where this ended. But that's all right. We'll do it right here. We're going to make a, a Y right here. Before I do that, I need to scoop some more loose fill out of this hole. Are there different grades of this corrugated pipe? Because I've watched a YouTube video where a guy was just stomping on this stuff and explaining why this was just as strong as PVC. That's not my experience at all. I feel like if you step on this, it crushes. Well, Schedule 40 doesn't do that. Maybe I just have the cheap stuff. So here's the Y we put in. We're coming right down the side of the building to the Y and then back up this way up the hill. I had a hundred foot of new pipe. That hundred foot of new pipe ran exactly to where this started. So I laid that in there and then took the piece of pipe I had left and ran it out this way. Since I decided to dig this on a Saturday, I can't even go get rock to cover this pipe. So it's just gonna have to stay like this 
at least for a couple more days. But if it does rain, at least this water isn't gonna rush up under the building or inside the building. So another day, some more progress. We got arches put together over there or pieces of arches put together so we can have a better day tomorrow on that. I appreciate you taking time to watch. You'll see more of our videos right here and I'll see you next time.